Also guys, as this thing moves along, I'm gonna try to break down cost as much as I can of what I actually have into these builds. Um, I think I'm gonna have probably less than $20 in two of them and probably will be about um, at about $25 for the last one guys, the one that's using the GQF thermostat. But I'm gonna try to break that down in the video and as much as possible post links where I found this stuff or where I get this stuff from uh, whenever that applies. So we'll get started with this. Let's get going. All right, folks, we're getting going with our uh, Styrobator here, little 33 quart that we're gonna be mounting the um, GQF wafer thermostat, the, uh, the standard GQF wafer thermostat. And this is a heating element out of an old Hubbabator. This is a 25 watt heating element out of an old Hubbabator. I don't have mountain brackets to mount this to the uh, to the styrofoam and uh, so I'm making some using the old hardware cloth technique see this little old hardware cloth with this little element you can slide it on here and it fits it perfect and then we just bend the, uh, then we just take the tag here. Let me see if I can get up here where you can see what we're doing here, guys. We take this right here and we're gonna bend this little tag over. We're gonna bend it over into a 90 like this so that it'll form a bracket that we can mount right here like this take a uh, I'm taking an inch and five eighths inch and five eighths drywall screw here with a stainless steel washer Once we're snugging that up and we got us a real nice insulated bracket for our uh, for our heating element here. And so we're going to repeat the process. And there, we have our heating element mounted in here real nice and neat in the top of the box. All right, guys, hopefully you'll recognize this. This is the bracket that came out of the GQF. This is what mates up to this on the other side so you can put your bolts through. And basically what this does, this, this keeps the weight of this from pulling through the top of your styrofoam. This is inch and a half thick right here. So what we're gonna do is basically get it real close to center right here in the box. And I take a little thin flathead screwdriver, once I get it where I want it right here, and I just go straight through to the other side. Just go straight through to the other side, just like that right there. And once we get that made it up, then the center adjustment, keep that lined up, and this is for your center adjustment. Just make a good hole right there for it to go through. And I'm gonna keep it pinned right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go round up my bolts here, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we put our machine screws through the holes that we made, through the bracket here, through the holes we made with our little screwdriver from the top. Hold my fingers on that right here and flip this over to where we can take our little bracket here little support bracket and mount it right there. I'll put me a couple of little stainless steel washers on here too. This is your, and this is your adjusting. If you recognize all the old hover baiters, this is your adjusting bolt for your wafer. And we made a hole here, right here in the center that should line up 
when we come through here. Let's see, I can't, I don't have enough light to see what I'm doing here, guys, or where I'm at. Oh, there we go, there it is. I'm just manipulating it, or there we go. You want it to be able to see where this, see your adjusting screw coming on through there now, guys? You want to get enough of it through there so that you can mount your wafer. See, once you've got enough through like that right there, then you can take your wafer then you can lay your wafer on here and snug your wafer down see now you got where you can adjust your thermostat with the top of your box. If you noticed, I lined this up to where the wires here will be easy to mate, just like in a hoverbaiter box. These wires will be easy to mate up with the uh, with the element. We'll be getting to the wire in here in just a couple of minutes, folks. So that's got our element mounted, our thermostat mounted. So we're going to get him wired up and get the LED wired up. That'll be in the next segment. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm going.